We'll do a Willow Street by ourselves. So we'll do that by ourselves. Let me just pop in what I need. EMF reader, photo cameras, lighter, candles, UV lights, crucifix. Not taking in nearly all the stuff I normally take in. The thing you have to be careful of until you get used to playing is if you die, you lose anything you take in with you. It's just gone. So you want to be careful. Let me make sure I've got everything I want. Yeah, I think we're good there. So let's play one by ourselves while we wait. See how this goes, boys. Okay, let's see. Smudge sticks, photo of the ghost, walk through salt. Okay, I did bring smudge sticks, good. Uh, find out what ghost we're dealing with, grab the key. Flashlight. Camera. Uh, Mike Anderson. So, and then we're gonna need a temperature. So the way we're gonna play this, open the back of the truck. Okay, so the breakers, wait. Breakers in the basement, the far back. Okay, that's fun. I literally just started one, but I can, uh, if you want me to, I can. Uh, I'll be back. Well, we're gonna play one WoWs game shortly. I'll be back then. Okay. I'll see if I can do it while he does that. Oh, this is a bigger one. That's the bathroom. The other thing is the ghost can hear you talking, so you have to avoid words, because if you use the wrong word, it will hunt and kill you. This is a Ouija board. And the reason we're happy about this is because one, I can turn that light on, and then I can turn this light on. So the way, for those of you that aren't familiar with the game, and let me just drop that there for a sec. Here, the way the game works is the ghosts are trying to hunt you. You're trying to figure out what the ghost is by getting different types of evidence. So I can use different things to get the different types of evidence. And as you can see, the ghost is activity. Now my sanity starts to drop as I'm in the house with the, without lights turned on or as I do stuff. So we're at 91 to 94%. Now, a Ouija board can be occasionally found in the thing, and if it's used successfully, you can tell me some stuff like what room it's in. So we're going to try that. What's your favorite room? And then I take a picture for evidence. So B, O, boy, Z. The boys' bed. Okay, so the boys' bedroom is its favorite room, which means that I now know which room the ghost is going to be in. <laughs> we changed the game, act. Yeah, so the boys' bedroom is the room it's going to be in. So what I'm going to do is I don't remember which bedroom the boys' room is, but we're going to figure it out by uh, looking at the maps because I don't remember. I'm still learning them, so... We're in the Willow Street house, so which one's the boys' bedroom? Boys' bedroom, oh, fun. Boys' bedroom is all the way at the back right. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to start to get stuff in there. So let's get stuff lined up at the door. What's my sanity at? Did my sanity drop significantly from that right answer? Yeah, it did drop 10%. Okay, so... It's not a demon, which is good, because a demon could start hunting me very quickly, and we don't feel like getting hunted. We don't feel like getting hunted, so we're going to start dropping stuff. Oh. Damn. 
we are also turning off the Ouija board because it can assume I ask a question, and if I ask a question it doesn't like, it'll nuke my sanity by 40%. So right now, I'm just getting stuff in there that I'm gonna want in there. So, because I can only carry so many things, I'm gonna start taking stuff in now. transporting stuff. The reason, obviously, I'm being very careful and not talking when I'm in the house is because it can hear me whenever I talk in the house. So, I don't want to talk a ton in the house right now in case I anger it. We're also keeping a very careful eye on our sanity. Okay, so we've got a couple things in there. What do we want to get in there next? We're going to need to get to walk through salt at some point and cleanse the area with smudge sticks. We also want this in, so let's get this. This is a video camera. So we'll get this in with us and go from there. go here we go it's a fun time though it's a very fun time okay so we're gonna go inside the house we're gonna place this down and then I'll start walking through looking for stuff Now, the reason I'm opening all the doors is because if a hunt starts and the ghost is trying to kill me, I need to run away from the ghost. If the ghost gets line of sight on me, I'm kind of fucked and it will try to kill me. Oh, I forgot to turn the light off. Fuck. Okay, we'll go back in and do that. That's easy enough to do. We'll get another one in there so we can get multiple angles to look for ghost orbs because there's no guarantee that's going to show us the right angle. Okay, how's my sanity doing? 75%. Still shouldn't be able to hunt. If it does, we know we're dealing with a really dangerous ghost. Fire, how do you defend yourself from the ghost? Well, the crucifixes prevent it from hunting if it tries to start its hunt within three meters of the crucifix, which is, reminds me I need to bring in the next one. Um, other than that, you have to run and hide. You can also use these things, which are smudge sticks, to temporarily stun the ghost for five seconds. Okay, so the first thing I'm looking for is any ghost orbs. I don't see any ghost orbs on that one. But that's a ghost orb. So you see that over there? We'll show it again. See that? That's a ghost orb right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in our journal. We're going to change the evidence one to ghost orb, which means that it can now be a phantom, poltergeist, gin, mare, shade, yuri, yokai, hantu. So there's quite a lot it can still be. 
We also can see that I got uh, money for the Ouija board picture. So let's look at what we want to pull out next. Yeah, the problem with Willow Street and why I remember I hate this is the fact that Willow Street has no closets to hide in. Because you want to hide if you get caught. And the only way to hide is to break line of sight until the hunt ends. And it's a 50 second hunt. Or to uh, pull it, hide in a locker or a closet because it can't hunt you in a locker or a closet. Okay, so Spirit Box has an option. We're going to get a Spirit Box in there. We want to get the Crucifix in there. And I don't think it's freezing temps, because I haven't seen freezing temps in there, but we'll get a temperature thing in there fairly soon. So let's get the next crucifix in there. I'm keeping a camera on me, because it does want me to capture a photo of the ghost. And we'll go from there. So that was ghost riding. That's another piece of evidence towards what ghost it is. So we're going to go back to the front door and we're going to go out because we're playing this very carefully and cautiously. So now we're going to go back to the car and I took a photo of it because you get uh, you get money for taking photos. We're going to look see this. Okay, so there's a fair few things happening. So. Let's go to that. So we got ghost riding, which means now that it can be a shade, Yuri, Yokai, Hantu. The annoying thing about those is because they're all different. So if we go back to the journal, so for example, Yokai, talking will anger it, so we don't want to talk near it. Uh, and that could be spirit box, which we need to check out for. Hantu moves faster in lower temperatures, so we want to keep it off. Yuri uh, will work my sanity which is also a freezing temp. And then it can't be a gin, which we're thankful for, because a gin would need to turn, we'd need to turn the gin stuff off. So what's the other one we said it could be? Let me look. Because we had ghost orbs and writing, so that means that it's Yuri, Shade, Hantu, Yokai. Where's Shade? Shade would be a little annoying because. Yeah, it won't do much, so we're looking for stuff. Okay, so how's my sanity doing? We're going to pop a sanity pill. Sanity pills give you 40% sanity back, so as we watch my sanity, we'll jump up to 100% here. And then we're going to start to play this smart. Where did I leave the thermometer? I left the thermometer downstairs in there. Frick, I didn't bring another one. Okay, I don't think it's freezing temps. I would have seen freezing temps by now. Let's get this in. We really hope it's not a spirit I don't want to fight a yokai. box boys so you hear how it said that little e that means it is a spirit box which means we know what it is this was actually i'm kind of shocked how easy this one was because i'm playing on one of the hard difficulties the hardest difficulties and it's answering stuff first so this point we know it's a spirit box, which means it's a yokai. So when we go, let's look at yokai. So what do we need to be careful of with the yokai? Yokai, yokai, where's the yokai? 
Okay, talking will anger it and increase its chance of attack. So we don't want to talk near it. So we need to be careful when we're in there not to talk anymore. And then we need to smudge, salt, and we're not going to try to capture a photo of this because by myself I don't like to do that. So. Smudge sticks can be used for a couple different things. Smudge sticks can be used... Um, uh, not quite possibly. The exam of the game fire is to determine what kind of ghost it is. Which, it can be hard because you can play on massive maps. And it, I like, I got evidence really easy, but it's not. But since I can't talk in there to be safe, smudge sticks can be used to cleanse an area. It'll make ghost interactions more likely. It'll also prevent a ghost from hunting for 90 seconds. Or if you use it during a hunt and at the ghost, it'll stop the ghost for five seconds in the middle of a hunt. Okay, so, <clears throat> there we go. Okay, so now we just need to put down salt, I believe, and we're good to go. So these get me additional money. So we're not gonna try to capture a photo of the ghost because unless it manifests, usually capture a photo of the ghost, you're gonna play in a two-man tag team and capture a photo while it's chasing you. We're not gonna do that, so we're gonna get the ghost to walk through salt. something so give me just a sec Okay, so, do you have to go, no, you don't fire, you get to keep it. Okay, so I need salt, and then I want a camera to take pictures of anything that happens. So let's get rid of the lighter, because we don't need it. Uh, so like I said, there's things I wish they would add. I would hope they would add a, um, a hunt, like an exorcism portion where you exercise the ghost, but yeah. If you guys heard that fucking burp, that was the ghost, and the heartbeat was because the ghost was doing a ghost interaction right fucking next to me, and my legs are covered in goosebumps right now. Because that thing manifested right fucking next to me, and my sanity's still good, but yeah, I'll see if I can try to tease a hunt from the doorway. Let me see if, because I don't want to go in, so let me try to tease out a hunt from the doorway, see if I can get it to try to hunt. Like, you won't be able to see it, probably, but we'll see if we can get time. But yeah, that's what makes this game fucking scary. How old are you? How old are you? How old are you? Eight. It's a fucking old ghost at 81. So now I'm going to nuke my Sandy to try to get us this thing. What's your favorite color? What's your favorite color? What's your name? 
What is your name? What is your favorite room? Man, this thing doesn't want to answer. What's your favorite room? Where are you? And so I'm getting it to answer questions for me because I'm trying to nuke my sanity. Because to use the Ouija board, nuke sanity. It nukes it heavily if you are. Uh, if you ask a wrong question, it nukes it lightly if you don't. So you see my Sandy's dropped to 71%. I'm just trying to nuke it to get a hunt, just to show you guys while we wait for friends to join us, but we'll go from there. So, it's a hard thing to sometimes nuke your Sandy. Do you want to kill me? How old are you? And so, it'll keep answering the questions, and as you can see, because I'll go show you, I'm getting uh, photo credit for this interaction. The salt didn't count, but that's okay. What's your favorite room? What's your favorite room? What is your favorite room? But like I said, I'm just trying to nuke my sanity down low enough that it gets tempted to hunt while I ask it a question. Not that I need to do this, I could pack up. I'm just trying to show a hunt, but we might wait. Might wait, let me go see if they're ready. Yeah, see, my sanity's dropping quickly because I'm asking all these questions. Let me see if they're ready to go, because I'll druck out when they are. You almost ready, Adam? He's <laughs> out! He's not leaving, Move. he's staying there forever. Move! Toxic. You almost ready, Adam? Uh, yeah, almost. I'm just having a go at my CV. Sorry. <laughs> uh, I got the fucking easiest ghost ever. Like, I literally, the first three pieces of the stuff I took in, it just shows up on them. Uh -oh. Wait, are you streaming? Uh-oh. All right. Um, well, I don't want to keep them waiting, so. No, you're fine. You can play a quick, right. tiny one again. Any, Dude, I'm first still, no, I'm after? just trying to nuke my Sandy right now to see if I can get it to hunt. Oh. The first game right. after I play the Colbert, I get 200k. I think you're just a detriment to me playing that thing. Hmm. We're gonna try something a little different here. here and wait for it can't detect light we're gonna wait for it to hunt because it'll eventually hunt though i do have two crucifixes which might fuck it up was a hunt which is why i went instantly silent because if you talk during a hunt the ghost can find you by your voice so it wasn't too stressful of a hunt because of the fact that i was uh yeah it was a soloed run armored prayer it worked out 
It wasn't too stressful of a hunt because of the fact that I was so far away from the spawn room. But you never talk during a hunt. Fight, don't even start the hat, daddy. Uh, fight, funny. Sorry, I'm just answering something. Oh, uh, hello. Hello. I was... <sighs> Welcome. Uh, Welcome. But yeah, no, it, it was, so I was on Willow Street. <clears throat> Um, I, I hate that one. I hate no, I that one. I hate it. Uh, well, I did a solo run on it. Go downstairs, turn on the power, find a Ouija board, figure out what rooms it in. it's in, drop a video camera, see ghost orbs, go in, drop a book, come back out to grab a spirit box, go back in, writing in the ghost book, use the spirit box, get an answer on the first question, and then just start nuking my sanity to complete stuff. So, Though, yes, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. Easy so. Bot. It was a surprisingly easy clap. Nas asked me if I'm going to uh, start making uh, early screen early screams like you. Like who? Like you. S Nas I don't know who you is. You 6A. Who? Welcome back. There's some jobs. 